Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a collective love reading. Please keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, roles can be reversed, and what that means is this could be something that your person is doing. This could be something that's going on around them. This could be something that you're doing or going on around you. This could even be a family member or a friend that's going through this, and you just happen to know about it. If you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and your situation, um, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first-time clients who get a reading with me, okay? So definitely take advantage of that. And hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. All right, how to get my reading real quick. Let's see. What's going on for the collective in love, please, Spirit? What's going on for the collective in love? What's going on for the collective in love, please, Spirit? Show me the collective in love. The collect show me the collective and love, please, Spirit. Okay, we got keeping a promise in reverse. So somebody here made a promise to you that they do not intend to keep. Or they have already broken that promise. What else, please, for the collective and love? What else, please, for the collective and love? We got the situation is about to explode. Shit's about to pop off up in flames. So and you got sports, so someone's playing games, trash, throwing away, getting rid of, tossing out. Yeah, trash. And then you got, so somebody here um, has broken a promise, and I feel like you're finding out, and the situation is going to explode here. You're going to realize this person had no intentions of ever keeping their word, their promise. Um... I feel like you're going to throw away the whole man or the whole woman here because they play too, they play too many games. Sex, okay? Tantric sex here. You're going to come to find out that this person has slept with someone else. But I think you're only going to find out that they had sex after you get, you, you, you trash the relationship. That's when you're going to get the whole truth. You're going to get part of the truth now, but you get the rest of it after you've left this person or let them go. Why is keeping a promise here in reverse, please, for the collective love? Keeping a promise in reverse, why is this here? Expect the unexpected. Like, you didn't, you didn't expect this. You are completely unexpecting that this person is going to break their promise. You could have been engaged to this person. This person could have promised you engagement or promised you marriage. Um, but now all of a sudden they're taking it back. And that's really going to make you angry. And you realize that this person was just playing games the entire time. And whenever you get rid of this relationship... Okay, for some of you, you're going to find evidence in the trash can of this person having sex with somebody. Maybe you find a used condom. Maybe you guys don't use condoms, but and then you find one. Or you're going to find some type of evidence in the trash of this person having sex with someone. Why is this situation about to explode? Why is that here? Please feel the collective and love. Mystical journey in reverse. When you find this out, you're not going to take the high road, okay? You're not. You're really going to be angry. You're going to be kind of explosively angry. Why are the games here? Show me the sports. Why is the games here? Why is the games here? Yeah. Grim Reaper ending and starting over. You want this person to stop. You could be done with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with um, a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're not going to be able to take, when this happens, when you find part of the truth out, because I feel like you're only going to find out the entire truth after the fact. Um, when you find this out, you're not going to be able to take the high road here. Um, you want this person to stop playing games with you. But they're not going to stop until you let them go. For some of you, you will let them go. For others of you, you won't. But 
you're gonna some for some of you you're gonna find evidence in the trash can. Yeah, they're finding finding evidence. Why is the trash can here? Why is the trash can? Okay, the signs will guide you in reverse tea leaf reading. So you're not listening. Okay, spirit is trying to guide you to what you need to know, to the evidence that you need to know. And spirit is trying to tell you that it's in the trash. Or your intuition was telling you that this was going on or something was going on and you ignored, you just, you know, threw away or tossed it aside the, the signs. That in your intuition, the spirit was trying to tell you that someone was having sex with someone else. Also, for some of you, this person might try to, um, they may, they might, they may try to confuse you by saying, that's not true. Let's have sex to try to throw you off of what's going on. Why is tantric sex here? Okay, yeah, lightning in reverse. It says move fast, strike now, do it. Yeah, don't do it. Don't have sex with this person. This person can be kind of trashy a little bit. Or the person they were sleeping with is kind of trashy, you know? One second. Yeah. Mm. All right, why is keeping, let's see, why, expect the unexpected. Why is this here? You did not expect this to happen for this person to break a promise to you about marriage or engagement. You weren't expecting this. Show me expect the unexpected. Why is this here? Expect the unexpected. Child. So somebody here could be finding out that they did not expect they were going to get pregnant. And that's why this person is not able to keep a promise to you because they've gotten someone pregnant. Why you're not you're once you figure this out, you're not gonna be able to keep your cool. You understand? Um, why is the mystical you're not gonna be able to take the high road? Why is the mystical journey here reversed? This person is not your twin flame. If you were thinking this person was your twin flame, they're not. Mystical journey reverse. Thank you, spirit. Consistently, okay. Some of you may have thought that um, some of you consistently thought that this person was your twin flame but you're coming to find out or realize this person isn't they're not for those of you who believe in the twin flame stuff this is not your twin flame this is not your twin flame at all you're finding out that this person has gotten someone else pregnant why is the grim reaper here you want this person to stop putting in uh playing games this person could have used that twin flame stuff to, to kind of rope you in or manipulate you as well. Show me the Grim Reaper. Why is this here? Waiting. Yeah. You're, you've just, you, you're going to, I feel like some of you are going to stop waiting for this person to do right. Once you figure this out or find out that there could be a potential love child here, you're going to realize that this person, you're going to stop waiting for this person. The signs were trying to guide you, but you ignored, you ignored the signs. Some of you need to get a reading to confirm or deny that this is your reading. Remember, these are general, so they could resonate for some of you, not for all of you. You understand? Why? Why? Okay, tea leaf reading. Why is that in reverse? Okay, you could have gotten a reading about the situation, and you didn't believe this that it was going to come true, so you tossed it to the side, and you didn't do anything about it, and... Now that reading is coming true. 
Okay. Tea leaf reading in reverse. Why? Thank you, Spirit. Thoughts. You're thinking about this reading that you got. Some of you got a reading either from me or from somebody else. Um, probably got it from me. And now the reading is now coming true. Um, or you're thinking of getting a reading. You need to. You need to get one um, to clarify this situation. Um, or you've already gotten a reading and you didn't listen to it. You kind of threw it in the trash. You were like, oh, that's not true. But come to find out, yes, it is. Why is, okay, so they're also guiding you to not have sex with this person. Okay. Why is lightning in reverse? Death. Something is, you got Grim Reaper and the Death card here. Something needs to change. There's no, something needs to change. I feel like this person uses sex to manipulate you into staying with them. That could be for a man or a woman. But somebody here uses sex to manipulate the other person into staying. Meanwhile, they're having sex with somebody else and looks like they have a child, a love child on the way. But the Spirit is telling you that you need to act you're not, you're not, they're telling you not to have sex with this person, but you need to, okay. They're telling you if you have sex with this person, you could get AIDS or have hepatitis B or C or something. So you need to, you need to not do it because it will lead to death. If you have sex with this person and I feel like they have a love child, but I feel like this person might have AIDS and that's no judgment towards anyone who, who is affected by that illness by any stretch of the means. And I'm also not a doctor, but if you do it, if you have sex with this person, you could be getting AIDS. It could lead to death. You could be finding out this person has an STD and didn't tell you, which is a huge betrayal on top of having a love child somewhere else. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Let me see. Hold on. Show me the child. Show me the child. Also, for some of you, you expected to have a new beginning here, but you, but it's not happening. Show me the child, please. Why is the child here? Show me the child. Show me the child. Money. Yeah, you're understanding that this person um, has been hiding money. Or giving money for a child that that they conceived while they were with you with somebody else why is consistency here cheerfulness like you thought that this was this is like you thought that you were going to have a cheerful experience with this person you thought that this person was your twin flame but they're not this person could constantly go out and party go out to party a lot They're very arrogant, and with the Lord and the merchant here, they like to sell you a bill of goods. And then with the thief here, they, they're they very arrogant, and they sell you a bill of goods, and they're a thief here. It means they're a liar still, or a, a, a um, liar, thief, or a cheater. Why Why is waiting here? You're going to put, you're going to stop waiting on this person. Show me waiting. You're just like waiting for this person to grow up and stop playing games with you, but you're waiting. It's almost like you're waiting in vain. Waiting, please. This person does not appreciate you. Yeah, thief. You're waiting on a liar, a cheat, a thief. You're waiting on a liar, a cheater, a thief. And I feel like you're going to stop doing that. This person, you just want this person to stop playing games with you. Why are you thinking about a reading? You didn't listen to this reading that you got or you're not... Or you're thinking about a reading that you had, or you're thinking about the signs you've been receiving, or your intuition, but you didn't listen. You threw away the, the message, and now I feel like some of you are regretting it. Thought, please. Or you need to get a reading. You're thinking about getting a reading, and you need to get a reading. Show me thought. Why is thought here? Messenger, I'm telling you. You're thinking about a reading or you're either thinking about getting a reading or you need to get a reading or you're thinking about a reading you already got that's now coming true. For most of you, it's thinking about getting a reading. 
And I would, and I would pay attention to the signs because they're trying to guide you. Why is now for others of you there, this person has sex with somebody else and they end up catching an, a pretty serious STD because if you, they're saying do not have sex with this person because if you do, it will lead to death. Um, for others of you, this person tries to manipulate you um, with sex um, to keep you in the relationship and that needs to stop. Show me the death card, please. Why is this here? Give me one of Scorpio, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Show me the death card, please. Death card. Conversation. This person tries to use sex to manipulate you instead of talk to, to stop a conversation. Male or female doesn't matter. So when you start to figure something out and you've got questions or you need answers here and you start asking questions and you want to talk about a situation, this person uses sex to dead the conversation. To throw you off, off your trail here of finding out the truth. And they're telling you, do not have sex with this person. All right, let's take a look at your person. Let me get the tarot. One second. Let's see. Spirit, show me the collector's person. Show me this person. Show me their person in love. Their person in love, please. Eight of Cups in the reverse. So this person wants you to come back. They don't want you to leave. Show me this person. Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, this person doesn't think you're going to leave them. Show me the collective person, please. Yep, Temperance in reverse. They don't care how chaotic they get or what they do or how imbalanced they actually are. Um, they think that you're not going to leave them. They are not one bit concerned that you are going to leave them. I feel like you are, though. But you may not be telling them that. Okay, we don't want to cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius. This person's really, really, really chaotic. They're a very problematic person. Tell me more of the collective person, please. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person's very cutthroat in their communication with you as well. Look, seven of swords in the reverse. You're finding out the truth about this person. You're finding out the truth about this person. And they think that you won't leave them. I don't know. Maybe they've done this before. And you didn't leave them the last time. Let's see. Show me this eight of cups reverse. Why is this here for the collective person? Eight of Cups reverse, please. Why is this here? Death card. Scorpio energy. I feel like you're about to show them that you are going to leave them. Yep, with the Two of Cups reverse, you are about to leave them. You're about to break this soul tie here. Because you have to. It's not because you want to, because ultimately you just want this person to do right. Ultimately, you just want this person to care about you and love you and be balanced and stable and to offer you commitment. They're not going to offer commitment here. They're not going, they're not going to offer you commitment here with the death card and two of cups reverse, but they don't think you're going to leave them no matter what they do. Why is the nine of swords reverse here, please? They are not worried about it. Nine of swords reverse, please. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, we got the five of cups reversed. This person is not even remotely sorry. Mm -mm. I'm hearing this is in their nature to do this. It's. I'm also hearing you already know that this is what this person is about and you chose to stay. Why is the temperance in reverse? Temperance in reverse. The world card in reverse. This person really truly believes that you're not going to leave them. Two of Wands in the reverse. They feel like you will not make that decision to leave them. 
Show me the Queen of Wands, please. But they do. Oh, okay. The Knight of Wands. This person's very in and out, very non-committal, and it's like you. But they, it's like they promise you a ring, or promised to be loyal, or exclusive, or to get married, and they had no intentions of ever keeping it because they've shown you that they're just playing you. There could be an age difference between you and this person. You could be older than this person, or they could be older than you. Why is the Seven of Swords reversed, though? This person, has, you're catching this person playing a game of chess. I don't mean actually playing a game of chess, but mental gymnastics here. You're catching this person. Like, slide a hand. Show me the Seven of Swords reversed, please. Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah. Seven of Swords reversed, please. It's like Fugazi. It's fake. It's a facade. Show me the Seven of Swords. The, what is that? Four of Swords reverse. This person, you're getting the truth that this person is very impulsive here. And they're a traitor. They're very selfish with a hangman reverse Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with really any sign. But this person's a traitor. This person is highly um, selfish. They act on impulse. And that, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's just what they're about. Let's take a look at you. Show me the collective in this relationship. How are they, what are they doing about this? Show me the collective in this relationship, please. Show me the collective. King of Wands, you are trying to rush away. Or you're, look, you see the fire here? And the other card that we had, where is it? Let me see. This one. You see that? You see this? Okay, this is the same type of energy. You are really going to explode. You're really going to explode. You're going to rush in, and you're going to bring you're going to bring hell with you. When you come in and you find out this truth, hell is coming with you. You know what I'm saying? Like you really you're you're going to be really fired up. Tell me more about the collect, which is understandable. Show me the collect this person, but I don't think this person cares. They really think that you're not going to leave them. Yeah, the eight of pentacles here. They feel like this. Do they feel like you're still going to want to work this out with them? Capricorn energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They feel like it looks like you're going to try to work it out with them, but you're at five of cups. You're going to end up regretting it though. If you try to work things out with this person, or try to win this person back from this other person. Even though they have a love child, this person could potentially have an STD. You still want to win. And you're going to end up regretting that. You see, there's a tombstone there. You're going to end up regretting it. Show me the collector's person. Or you want this person to regret what they've done. Yeah, the emperor. Gosh, we got a lot of people here. You want, you really want the, you want this person to regret. We got um, Scorpio energy. We also got Aries, Taurus, Leo energy. You want this person to regret what they've done. But if you're trying to work things out with them after, I mean, I'm not judging you. You're going to end up regretting dealing with this person. You're going to end up regretting dealing with this person. Or you already regret dealing with this person. but Or you want this person to regret um, what they've done. Why is the King of Wands here, please, for the collective? Show me the King of Wands, please. Ace of Cups. You still love them. You still have great love for them. And not, I get it. You can't, just, some, you can't just turn it off. You know what I'm saying? I get it. So you do want this, you do want to work things out with this person, but just be careful because you could end up regretting it. Or you want this person to regret what they've done. All right, show me the Eight of Pentacles, please. The Hermit card. You're working on trying to understand what happened. The Tower card just came out too. You need to take some time to yourself to really think about this, if this is what you really want or not. Got Virgo energy, but we also got Scorpio Aries energy. It's a shock. You still, you, you're going to think about if you want this to work or if you want to work on this with this person or not, because it really, it's like puts you in a state of shock. Why is this five of cups here? Yeah, Knight of pentacles in reverse. You, um, Taurus energy. 
I feel like you regret not stopping the relationship or you regret, um, yeah, you regret not ending this relationship with this person. Cause I feel like this person has done this before and you had, you had the chance to leave them then and you chose to stay. Right. And this person thought, okay, well, it doesn't matter what I do to this person. They're always going to stay with me because they don't respect themselves. I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying like that's the vibe that I'm getting from this person here. Show me the emperor, please. Why is the emperor here? Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. You just want this person to choose you. High priestess in reverse. You're not listening to your higher self here. Be careful with that because this, this could end in a very um, explosion. explosion. Okay, let's see. What is a potential outcome of this relationship? Remember, this person has no remorse for what they've done. I'm hearing you stay so you get what you get. And that's not right, but that's what I'm hearing. It's almost like I'm hearing this person speak. You know, your person. What's the potential outcome of this relationship, please, for the collective? What's the potential outcome in love? What's the potential outcome of this relationship? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so not working on it. Capricorn energy. But also not closing out the cycle. World card in reverse again. So you're not working on trying to close out the cycle with this person. I feel like you're just going to keep it to yourself. You're going to find this information out. It's going to, you're going to be like seething on the inside ready to explode on the inside but i don't feel like you're going to end it you're not working on trying to close out the cycle what's the potential outcome of this relationship queen of cups in the upright you're still going to love this person i don't feel like you're going to leave it because this person's going to get you in your feelings i don't think you're going to leave the relationship you're not going to work on trying to close this relationship you're just actually going to maybe you have children with this person and you can't leave maybe you're worried about that but you're not going to leave them. And then no judgment. It's totally up to you. But just know if you aren't going to do something about it, I feel like for some of you, because you're not going to do anything about it, you're not going to work on closing out the cycle with this person. You're just not going to say anything about what you know. And for others of you, you're going to tell this person that you're going to leave them. And then you're going to find out more truth, but you're still not going to leave. I don't see you leaving. I see that you are trying to win this person back. I don't see you leaving. Let's see. What signs could be involved now? Outside of the signs I've already said, let's see. What signs could the collective be involved with? Or what's involved what signs are involved in this situation? Now this could be your sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus, your person sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or this third party sign uh sun moon rising venus what signs are involved in this what signs are involved in this please spirit well water cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising venus pisces sun moon rising venus so cancer and scorpio on the first one taurus sun moon rising venus what else please what other signs? Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me get one more. One more signs that could be involved in this. But remember, it could be any sign. What other signs are involved in this? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Capricorn. Let's see what these people's intentions are. So, if you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, What's Cancer and Scorpio's intentions towards the collective? What's Scorpio and Cancer's intentions towards the collective? They want to keep you addicted to them with a pipe. I get strong trauma bond here, and those are very difficult to break. Yeah, they're going to keep you addicted to coming back to them with a the bridge and the um, pipe. If you're dealing with the Pisces, what's Pisces' intention towards the collective? They're going to just... Uh, feed your mind with imaginations and wishful thinking here with the bellows here. Blow smoke up your ass, basically. 
What else was Pisces intentions? Pisces intentions. Yeah, and they're still going to do what they want to do with the drum here, march into the beat of their own drum. Um, but they're they have the gift. A Pisces has the gift of gab, though, to be able to tell you anything and you believe it. So be careful with that. They're very adept to manipulation. If you're dealing with a Taurus, what's Taurus intentions towards a collective? If you're dealing with a Taurus, show me Taurus, please. Intentions. Show me Taurus's intentions, please. Yeah. They are going to have you um, loving the med the bad medicine that they're giving you. Again, more addiction. They're going to make you into a love addict or a drug addict. And they're going to cheat on you with, with the triangle at the bottom of the deck. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what's air signs intentions towards a collective? To never never wed you, to never commit to you. What else is air signs intentions towards a collective? If you're dealing with an air sign. Yep. And just keep you wishing, wishing for a co commitment that they're never going to give. If you're done with a Virgo, what's Virgo's intentions towards a collective? Keep you wishing with false hope. But it ends. They're going to have you begging for it to end. Whatever that's about. They're going to have you begging that this relationship is over. If you're done with a Virgo. Wow. Um, let's see what your person would say to you, um, if they could. Spirit, what would the collective's person say to them? If they could say anything to them, what would they say? What did you want from me? It's like almost like, what did you expect? I forgive you, even though they're doing the dirty, they're saying, I forgive you. They're blaming you. I wonder how far this would go, how far they could get away with this. And you're so easy to see through. They feel like they got you all figured out. They know exactly how to manipulate the situation. Let's see. What guidance do you have, please, for the collective regarding this relationship? It's time to release negativity, but it came out in reverse. I'm telling you, you're not going to leave this person. You're not going to leave them. I feel like you're trauma bonded to them. That's very hard to break. But you need to do healing, a time of healing. But you can't heal. You can't heal in the place that's made you sick. In the, or the environment that's made you sick. You're not going to keep your visions anymore. The end of a tough cycle is not happening. You're not seeing the bigger picture here. This person's not really going to be open with communication here. And you're going to miss out on your blessings with prosperity uh, lies ahead in reverse. You know? Think about this, though. I just want you to think about it. You do what you got to do, but think about what it is that you got yourself involved in. Okay. All right. Well, if this you want to get a personal reading that is um, from me that is tailored specifically to your energy and situation, my email is in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel and share this video. It may help somebody um, help somebody else. Okay. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye.